On October 12, 2024, the Brazilian Ministry of Defense announced the introduction of a new remotely piloted aircraft, the Nauru 500C, now designated as the R-Cube 2, into the Brazilian Navy's Maritime Search and Rescue Service, Salvamar Brazil. The R-Cube 2 is set to significantly improve rescue operations along the Brazilian coast and inland waters. Delivered during a ceremony at the Naval Air Force Command in São Pedro de Aldea, Rio de Janeiro, the R-Cube 2 drone is part of the Navy's broader effort to modernize its search and rescue planning and decision support system, SBADSAR. This modernization initiative aims to enhance the efficiency of search and rescue missions, with the R-Cube 2 playing a pivotal role. The R-Cube 2, designed for both land and sea operations, boasts a range of 60 kilometers and can fly for up to four hours. Its vertical takeoff and landing capabilities make it ideal for rapid deployment in challenging environments without the need for additional launch equipment. Equipped with high-resolution cameras, the drone provides real-time data and imagery, helping rescuers locate individuals in distress more efficiently. The delivery of the RQ-2 was made possible through a collaboration between the Brazilian Navy's Maritime Operations Command, Shell Brazil Petroleolta, CLS Brazil, and Zmobits, a leading developer of unmanned systems. Giovanni Amianti, CEO of Zmobits, emphasized the domestic development of the RQ-2 and its versatile features. Certified for beyond visual line of sight, BVLOS operations, the RQ-2 can function in adverse weather conditions and at high altitudes, making it a critical asset for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. The introduction of the RQ-2 is part of a broader push by the Brazilian Navy to integrate unmanned systems into its operations. In 2022, the Navy activated the first remotely piloted aircraft squadron, esc QE-1, which operates six Scan Eagle drones for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and disaster monitoring. These unmanned aerial systems offer significant advantages over traditional manned aircraft, including extended operational range and the ability to operate continuously. Looking ahead, the Navy is exploring further opportunities to expand its fleet of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. In particular, it is considering acquiring Chinese drones, such as the Mavic 3 and Matrice models, to supplement its existing capabilities. As the Brazilian Navy continues to modernize its unmanned systems, the RQ-2 drone will be a key asset in its search and rescue efforts. With its advanced capabilities and strategic partnerships driving innovation, the Navy is well positioned to respond to emergencies at sea and improve overall maritime safety along the Brazilian coast. This new era of unmanned technology not only enhances the Navy's operational capabilities, but also sets a precedent for further advancements in maritime rescue and disaster response efforts. The RQ-2 represents a significant leap forward in ensuring the safety of those at sea and reflects the Navy's commitment to staying at the forefront of technological innovation.